Hi everyone, welcome to the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening Trading Sequence Guide. Um, this guide will cover all items in the trading sequence, including the optional and mandatory ones. So to start, uh, the first item is the Yoshi doll in the bottom right corner of Mabe Village. To get this, you have to play the trendy game. So spend 10 rupees, use B and A to get the Yoshi doll by putting the shadow of the crane over it, and then wait for it to pick it up. The second item, the ribbon, is also in Mabe Village. Um, head to the double house in the north area of Mabe Village. Head through the door and talk to the mother with the baby. She will trade the Yoshi doll for a ribbon. The third item in the trading sequence is the dog food. To get it, head to the house in Mabe Village with Bow Wow in front of it and head to the small house and talk to the um talk to the small chain chomp who wants a ribbon. She will trade you the ribbon for some dog food. The fourth item in the trading sequence are the bananas. To get these, head to Taranbo Shores, um, which is just south of Mabe Village. Head into the house and you'll see an alligator who really wants some dog food. Give him the dog food and he will trade bananas for it. And the next item is the stick on the in the southeast portion of Canalette Castle. Talk to the monkey Kiki, give him the bananas, and he will build a bridge for you. This is not optional. You must do the trading sequence up to this point in the game in order to get to Canalette Castle. Um, the stick will be left behind on the bridge, and you can go forward and pick it up. The rest of the entries in this guide are optional. You do not have to complete them. So the sixth item is the honeycomb uh, in Yukuku Prairie. Um, it's just east of May Village, and you want to talk to Terran, who is standing by a tree. Give him the stick, and he will hit down the honeycomb, and bees will attack him. After he runs away from the bees, you can pick up the honeycomb that is dropped. The seventh item is the pineapple. Go to Animal Village in the bottom right corner and enter and talk to the bear there. Um, he will trade you the honeycomb for the pineapple that he has. The eighth item in the trading sequence is the hibiscus. While you are on tall, tall heights, um, look for Papal, um, who said he would be lost here earlier. He will trade you the pineapple for the hibiscus. He says he wants some vitals, um, which apparently to him are pineapple. The ninth entry in the trading sequence is the letter. Um, go to the top right portion of Animal Village this time, enter the house on the left, and talk to the goat. She will give you a letter from Mr. Wright, who she says is, right, is just north of the mysterious woods. So naturally, the next um, list, or the next item on our list is the broom. 
go to Mr. Wright's house, which is just north, right outside of the um, mysterious woods, just left of Bottle Grotto, and give him the letter, he will see a very inaccurate picture of the of the goat woman, uh, Christine, and he will give you a broom. The eleventh um, entry is the fishing hook. Go back to Mabe Village in the bottom left corner this time and talk to the woman who looks like she should be holding a broom and she will give you the fishing hook for your efforts. The twelfth entry in the trading sequence is under a bridge in Martha's Bay. Go to the bottom right corner of Martha's Bay and head under the bridge and you will see a fisherman. Trade him the fishing hook for the necklace. Once you have the necklace, head just north of Catfish's Maw in Martha's Bay, and you will see a mermaid. Talk to her and trade the necklace for one of her scales. Once you have the scale and the hook shot from Catfish's Ma, you can make your way to um, the screen just left of where you got the fishing hook, except on land, or of where you got the necklace, except on land. Give the scale to the statue and head down. There are some enemies in here that you can't see, but we'll soon fix that. Head up and grab the magnifying glass, which will make things you couldn't see before seeable. Uh, this will reveal not much in the game, um, but it will allow us to get the reward, which is on Toronto Shores. You want to bomb the wall um, in the bottom right corner of this place, head up, and make sure you have your shovel in your B position. You're going to have to trade your B item for the item of the quest, which is the boomerang, the almighty boomerang. Um, in most Zelda games, the boomerang is not very... Uh, effective. This is the most powerful item in the game, and you're definitely going to want to have it. It can even defeat the last boss in one hit. But uh, that is all for this guide. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more guides.